Hello, hello, it's Brooke Sidney here, your favorite mindset and manifestation coach. And I'm helping you learn how to make miracles manifest. And today I'm so excited about controlling those intrusive thoughts. I've got some ideas and I've got some thoughts to help you combat those and speed up your manifestation. But before we get into it, I just wanna remind you there are two ways to work with me. Both of those ways are listed below. The summer is getting very tight, so if you want a one-on-one, -on -one, make sure that you are jumping in there soon. And there are two groups of manifestation communities full of like-minded individuals that are also just waiting and hoping and working to change and manifest all of our desires. So today I wanted to talk about how to control those intrusive thoughts and really help you come up with methods and techniques that work for you, right? So I'm going to give a series of them. So make sure you stay till the end to see which one truly resonates with you. So let's begin at the beginning. What are intrusive thoughts? Intrusive thoughts are simply our natural assumptions, our dominant ways of thinking. So if we're trying to like manifest our love back in our specific person and we keep getting this intrusive thought that love never works out for me or that my SP is not thinking about me or my SP hates me, which is contrary, which is opposing to the actual thoughts that we wanna be thinking. And again, we wanna make it really simple. We don't want to put too much focus on this opposing or intrusive thought. So essentially, whenever it comes in, we have several options and I wanna go through several of them with you. So the first one is, what can you actually do? And for me, one of the main things that I do is my technique, and I've talked about it before, called cancel, clear, delete. The reason why I do cancel, clear, delete is first, I believe that our mind is a program. Our mind is a computer that runs on programs. Our mind has several programs running at the same time. That intrusive thought that you've been thinking about, that intrusive thought that keeps popping up, it is a program that has been running. Some people will call it ego, but even in mind, even in mind talk, we know that it's a program that's been running for a while. It is thoughts that you keep thinking. They are habitual thoughts. And in most cases, it's something that you're used to. So you're comfortable with it. And some people would argue that it is your brain, it is your reptilian brain trying to keep you safe. It doesn't matter. It is old and no longer useful. And so when we do cancel, clear, delete, just I can see it almost like on my keyboard, cancel, clearing, and deleting. That whole row of text, those, all of those letters just being removed. That's why you guys always see me do like cancel, clear, delete and do some sort of hand motion because in my mental space, in my 4D, in my imagination, I see it being deleted. I really do see it being deleted. I actually feel better. I'm actually getting goosebumps telling you I actually feel better when I cancel, clear and delete things. It also makes me feel like I am in my operant power, that I have control of the thoughts, which you do, especially when we become aware of them. The next thing that we can do, this is the second option, is that we can kind of do like revision on the spot and I'll tag that video or essentially pivoting that thought or flipping that thought. I also often talk about it as flip it and reverse it with an opposing or contrary thought. So if you're like, my SP doesn't love me, flip it. Of course my SP loves me. My SP loves me so much. I am the love of my SP's life. My SP thinks about me all the time right? You just flip it on the spot. You don't make it difficult. It could be an affirmation that you're already using. Like my SB thinks about me all the time. My SB loves me. My SB can't wait to spend time with me. My SB loves being committed to me. Whatever it is, immediately after that thought comes up, whether you use the cancel, clear, and delete, which is one of my favorites, or just immediately go into flipping that thought, putting the thought that is contrary, putting the thought that y'all feels good putting the thought that puts you into your wish fulfilled that is aligned with that that's the most important thing the next thing that i think that you should do if you have the presence 
and you are using power of awareness and I'll tag that video. I really do feel, I feel like awareness and mindfulness go so far with manifestation. I've talked about that since the beginning of my channel. I've been talking about that for three years is we want to actually um, ask why when it comes up, especially if you're not completely triggered and you start going into an emotional spiral, if you are in the space to maybe say a prayer, do some meditation, meditate on that intrusive thought. Ask it why. Ask yourself why. Ask your higher self why. Ask God the 5D why. You want to get, if you can, to the bottom of it. I think that's how we overcome some of these very entrenched, intrusive or opposing thoughts and beliefs. That's how we get to the root of them. Because sometimes slapping a Band-Aid affirmation over it is not going to work. Sometimes you have to actually get to the state, the collection of beliefs and thoughts that are underneath this one intrusive thought that keeps coming in. And that way you can actually shift it. And that's how you end up manifesting super fast. And the next thing that I want to say is I know some people... It, you have to kind of think about your energy and how you move. You know, I'm, as you guys can tell, I'm not a big like F it, you know, F this, F that, blah, 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 right? There is a time and a space for getting angry, but I like to stay in my power. And I know that that thought is not the boss of me, just like the 3D is not the boss of me. And I'll tag the 3D triggering videos. The 3D is not the boss of me. I'm the boss of the 3D. I really don't need to get mad at the 3D. In fact, I use the opposite energy. So you have to feel what works for you. Um, I use the thank you so much for showing me, right? You work for me. I don't work for you. I don't need to get mad at you. You are actually here as a gift to show me what I no longer want and show me what I no longer need. Thank you so much for showing me that I used to think and I flip into that. I used to think that my SP didn't want me. I used to think that I wasn't loved or chosen. I used to think that I couldn't make a lot of money. I used to think that I couldn't get that job. I start flipping it into that. And then I start going into what I believe and I think is available for me now or what I want for me now. What is in the wish fulfilled? What is in the feeling is the secret. And I start transporting myself there. But I don't like to step outside of my power. I know that I'm the queen as you are the queen or the king. You are the operant power in your reality. I don't let it take me out of my character. I try really hard not to let it take me out of my character. Of course, there are times that I'm like, F this, blah, blah, blah. And that can work for some of you. Maybe that's the energy that you give naturally. Me... I try to stay whatever, this is changing. I know that it's changing. It is done, it is finished. I've decided, I'm gonna tag that video. I've decided it is done. We already know that the manifestations are here for us. We just have to make ourselves huh, the receptor of them, have the self concept that has whatever we desire. So for me, I love peace, joy, clarity, bliss, hugs, right? So that's just my energy. Um, and so I would rather thank it and then ask for the blessing that it's showing it to me and then move through it. Because sometimes if I get angry, it's going to be there for a minute and I don't want it to be. Like, I don't want to be in that energy. And, you know, the more that you resist, it persists. So Try that out. Try out thinking it. Try out being like, wow, thank you so much for this gift of now me seeing me, right? Me doing me, me seeing me. And now I can create the new me that has exactly what I want. These intrusive thoughts, they are nothing to my operant power state. They are nothing but a blip. They are actually here to help me go higher. They are here to help me elevate. They are here to help me not have any blocks to whatever it is I'm resisting. They are this 
pathway, this bridge of incidents. They are part of all of it that's helping me go from not having my SP to having my SP, to not having my love to having my love, to not having the money in my bank, about, bank account to having the money in my bank account. It is all here for me. That's what I believe. It is always working out for me. Everything is here for my benefit. It is my hope that it's been helpful today. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel, like this video, and I will see you tomorrow.